Today, we're diving into the art of effective team communication and unlock the secrets to keeping everyone on the same page without turning into the office chatterbox. So first things first, let's talk about the foundation of team communication. It's not just about talking, it's about connecting. Imagine communication as the Wi-Fi signal of your team. Without it, you're just a bunch of smart devices that can't sync up. So some key points to talk about team communication is the importance of clarity. You wanna make sure you're using simple, straightforward language. Avoid jargon and technical terms unless necessary. Also, it's the importance of getting to the point quickly. It also involves active listening skills. Active listening is not just about hearing words. It's about understanding the meaning behind them. Encourage questions and feedback for clarity. Showing engagement through body language and verbal affirmations. Summarizing and reflecting back what was said for confirmation. You also want to do regular check-ins and updates. So scheduling regular team meetings and one-on-ones. Use check-ins to track progress and address concerns. Balancing the frequency of meetings to avoid overload. Remember, clear and concise messages are like short and sweet Wi-Fi passwords. Easy to connect, hard to forget. Then we have tools of the trade. Not your regular hammers and nails, but communication tools. In the digital age, we've got more gadgets and apps than a tech store on Black Friday. That was my one joke. <laughs> but choosing a communication tool is like picking a superhero team. Each member or tool has unique power suited for specific missions or needs. So you want to make sure you're choosing the right tools for your team. Assessing team needs and workflows. Exploring options like Slack for messaging and Zoom for video conferencing and Trello for project management. Consider using friendliness and integration capabilities. But don't go overboard with too many tools. It's like having too many cooks in the kitchen. Where is the lamb sauce? Things can get messy fast. So you wanna balance digital and face-to-face -face communication. The value of in-person meetings for building relationships and handling sensitive topics. You wanna to use digital tools for efficiency and quick updates. Creating a mix that suits your team dynamics and needs. Then you wanna manage group chats and email threads. So establishing guidelines for group chat etiquette using subject lines effectively in emails, keeping threads focused and avoiding unnecessary reply all. So pick tools that work for your team, not against them. And remember sometimes the best app is good old fashioned face-to-face -face chat. Socially distanced, of course. Now, navigating communication. There are challenges, we all know. Communication isn't always a walk in the park. Sometimes it's more like a jog in a maze. So let's navigate through some common challenges. So there's dealing with misunderstandings, which is at the top of the list. When you're dealing with misunderstandings, you wanna recognize and address misunderstandings promptly. Encourage open dialogue to clarify you want to use the role of empathy in understanding different perspectives. Managing conflicts. You want to identify the root cause of conflicts. You can facilitate open and respectful discussions. Finding common grounds and working towards resolution. Remember, conflict isn't always bad. Handled well, it can lead to growth, innovation, and stronger relationships. It's all in the approach. Overcoming barriers in remote communication, which is important for clear and regular communication in remote setups. 
So use you know your video calls to enhance connection. But be mindful of time zones and cultural differences. Over communicate rather than under communicate. It's better to be clear than leave room for misunderstandings. And then building a communication culture. It's time, if you haven't already, to build a culture that's open and positive communication. The way to do that, some key points, is you want to encourage open feedback. Create a safe space for honest feedback. Encourage regular feedback sessions, not just during your annual reviews. Teach how to give and receive feedback constructively. And then celebrating successes and learning from failures. Think of your team's success and failures as two sides of the same coin. Recognizing and celebrating small wins and major achievements. Create a culture where failures are viewed as learning opportunities. Ensuring that both success and failures lead to constructive discussions. And then you also want to make sure that you're fostering an inclusive work environment. I talk about that all the time. That you ensure that all voices are heard and valued. So be mindful of different communication styles and cultural backgrounds. It's like making a smoothie. You need all the ingredients to blend well together for the perfect taste. Effective team communication is your golden ticket to a harmonious and productive workplace. Remember, good communication is a two-way street. Sometimes you're the talker and sometimes you're the listener. I'll see you at the next video.